good thing. Ooh. Hi, Erdorf. Ah, oh, my ears. Ah. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Ah, ho, ho, ho. Hold on. I'm gonna need to lower the value because like, ah, uh, that, that kind of, uh, that kind of hurt the ears. <laughs> Ouch. I'm okay. Instruction. Sure, I guess. Use WASD arrow keys or left analog stick slash D-pad. Oh, look, look at this. Probe moves right here. Already. Gotta get them apples. Can I bless the apples? I cannot. I'll take that. What if I give him a hug instead? Oh, no, I guess that doesn't do it. No hugs for the demons, I guess. <laughs> Extras. I wonder what this stuff is. What's in Faith Deluxe? Alright. What? Oh. New game. Oh, I guess I'm not. Alright, so, truth be told, I actually kind of sort of know what I'm getting myself into. I just haven't done this myself, and... Like... I gotta be honest, I kind of forgot a lot of it already. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's gonna click once I get to work here, but now let, let's see what happens. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me let me adjust the volume just a smidge here. Hopefully that's good. Hopefully that's good. Let me know if it needs to be a little bit louder. We ain't gonna get a mortis. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare the munchkin. I just wasn't expecting the, the truck to show up like that. <laughs> Let alone almost run me over. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was scary. That, that gave me the scoop. <laughs> or the, the, the spook, not the scoop. Oh, man. Is there nothing over here? Oh. Don't think I don't see you. Man in gray. What did he drop? What is that? Gnosis. Alright, hang on. Let me find my car real fast. <laughs> real fast. Um, there it is. Okay. Let me also lower it just a little bit. It's a little bit louder on my side. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you can always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good way place to start. Neat. Not that that's gonna help much. Scoopy. <laughs> Spooky. The well. You're invited! 
Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. What time is it right now? I think I'm late. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Okay, we're on our way. Play Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Deer, come back! Get out of here, you. Michael. I think that was his name, right? It's locked. I wouldn't have guessed. We gotta go to the right, I guess. Ah, oh, the rock, I swear, you're gonna get me killed, man. Them trees. Speech synth. <clears throat> I caught some people walking through the woods of around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Get out of here, son! Get out of here. The Martin's house lies about 100 yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of the gra gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark where we, when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. Uh, is this John talking? In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house. But the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. Get out of here! I saw you! I saw you coming, son! Get out of here with that trash! That's safe though, right? What did you just say? What did you just say? What did he just say? What did he call me? That jerk? Who was the deer? The deer was no one. Don't mind me, deer. James Osborne. Man, I think I'm not going the right way. John, you think you can walk faster? Get out of here, man. I'm not having this right now. I'm trying to find the house. Dear, please be careful. There's a mad lad around here. Nope. John, you gotta walk faster. We're not gonna get out of this place without you walking faster. 
Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscription on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off of it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about. But I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women of uh, yeah, some of the women at book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. What did I tell you about calling me that, sir? Get out of here. What on earth? This music. Okay. Don't mind the child, she's, she's still awake. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I fell for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Sound clips from a real exorcism. What? Hey, can I look at this? How do I look at this? Can I look at this now? How do, how do I investigate the picture? I guess that's how you do it. <laughs> that look. It's me. I see you. Where are you at? Can I bless the TV? It's gone awfully quiet. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Okay, not really sure if this is the kind of thing a child should really be doing. <laughs> Just saying. Nate? Can I bless the banana? I see something red over there. Amy. Thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as, as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba? Quimbamba. 
it's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. Oh, okay. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. I'm assuming that this house is abandoned. No one lives here. That's okay, much don't worry. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Are there secrets? Are there secrets here? No? Alright. Mannequins. Oh, okay. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of that fear. Or off the fear. Blech. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Ooh. Well, okay. <clears throat> Hold on. Got the clavis. I'm just adjust the balance here a little bit. Hang on. There we go. Hope I didn't make it too low, though. I think I appreciate her showing up in front of the bed like that. Good night, little munchkin. Papa will try not to scream his head off. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask a niche about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from an oh from a yeah. She yeah. I can't speak today. I want to. Gotta get into the mood. 
Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Oh. Okay. I guess I failed her. No, I haven't died. We have not mortised yet. I'm sure we will very soon, though. Can't a possessed kid just get this? You're silly, Sui. What did she just say for me to do? Gotta love the, uh, the synth voice there. I'm gonna assume it's safe for me to go down here. I get you. Very lucky. Do I go downstairs? Oh! A little bit too close for comfort, though. My goodness. Look at me. I bleed. I heard a door open upstairs. Upstairs, he says. Ah, oh, dang it, it went all quiet again. You got treasure. Uh, did we bring the charger though? I don't. Oh wait, no, there it is. Hang on, hang on. Slight intermission while I plug the phone in. There we go. Okay. Is this it? Oh. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. Who's Karen? I want you to hear from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, w with, wait, what? When I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own yes, I guess. I have to go back to that house. The nightmare I'm having the, the nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. I see you with that face. I'm sorry, I've been watching too much video. <clears throat> Time to follow the jelly trail. My god, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. <laughs> I'm sorry. <Be> <laughs> Am I doing it? I think I like what you're doing over here, friend. I haven't died yet. Oh, don't like that. I see you coming, lady. And 
not sure if I'm doing this right though. Bam! Dang. <laughs> well, we had to get one more this in, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I, was, I, I wasn't quite sure what I was doing at that point, so... Can I... Can I like... There go. There's like a small tell that I can see when it comes to her spawning in. Yes. Oh. It feels like I barely have enough time to react to it. Uh. Hand! I guess I was too close. I have been mortis twice. <laughs> just got just gotta stay in the safe zone, I guess. Stay in the star for protection. Okay, bye. <laughs> of the best. I'm gonna hang on to this shotgun though. We're just gonna go. We're gonna skedaddle. I do not trust what's happening here. that the music is just is that one song playing backwards either Suffer. Oh. yeah no Get out of here. <laughs> that truck <laughs> I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in him I will trust 
I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble, he will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Roll credits. Ending 5 of 5. Oh, that's right, there's multiple endings in this thing. I done forgot. <laughs> start like will it restart me at the at that point in time or? police animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near sterling oh this is a lot of text uh, why not i guess sterling pd is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the university of connecticut after the remains of, the, of an yeah <laughs> I'll try not to read it fast, I guess. The remain remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle, thanks, Erdorf, and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Ew. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorists who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. I can't hold down to scroll it down. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a stern police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion, a or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D def deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Well, gee. I like the song. Hold on. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, cool. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's actually go kill her, I guess. A gun with one bullet. Cool. Uh, alright. Well, where is she at? Is I don't remember these trees being there before. Were they there before? There she is. What was if I just try to tap her? Okay, well that doesn't work. There. She is dead. She has died. Now I'm getting the heck out of here. <laughs> Where's my ride? We gotta get out of here. Uh oh. Child's moving. The child is moving. That's scarier than this game. <laughs> Okay, she settled back down. If only he could go fast. Oh. 
murderer. <laughs> oh, that was one. I see. A New York man is in custody. John's New York? He New York man? After he confessed to the murder of a Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Hill with <laughs> Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. Boy, they work fast. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, that was a stomach? I thought that was a headshot. <laughs> Amy showed injuries, suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal, brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. Okay, well, that's one other ending. A dog with one bullet. Okay, well, now what? Actually, what time is it first off? Yeah. I got a little bit of time. What else can I shoot? John, why you gotta be murdering? <laughs> listen, listen, it's it, it's all in good fun. He owed me for for some, I'm sure. I will send a flower. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Well, he dead. <laughs> Sweet. I shot a guy. Just a random guy. <laughs> I guess I wasn't supposed to shoot him. Oh, well. Esteemed Colonel Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy of such, uh, at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. 
the photograph is missing. Uh, that white fella uh, ended up getting me while uh, I was driving away. So, yeah. John died. What else can get shot? <laughs> that might not hold up in court. <laughs> <laughs> in the house to shoot. I'll look in the house uh, a little bit later. I'm not quite sure if there's much else to do though. Ah, yeah there is. Right in the tushy. Right in the butt. <laughs> Fantastic. There we go. Just gotta teleport right into the, uh, yes. Lakeview Cabin Collection? No, I have not. I will send a flower. <laughs> my and my fortress. My cock in my will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Ow. Unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. Great. Poor John. Why he gotta be dying, so, uh, yes. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning. Along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. John, why were you not wearing your seatbelt? Why you do, John? Safety. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Oh, that sucks. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. <laughs> Oh, how little you know. Police also noted that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of a car, or of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Wait, what? A dog with one bullet. All right, well, let's investigate the house. Oh, okay. Isn't this like a bonus thing, though? A dog with one bullet. <laughs> How many guns does this dude have? To only have one bullet. A dog with one bullet. Down, down, left, left, shoot, corpse. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna get... I got grabbed. Too close, friend. A little too close. A little 
little too close. Uh, too close. I almost got tagged there, buddy. <laughs> oh no, I haven't tagged. The missus tagged me. Dang it. So did you get the other endings? Well, I got the one where I got destroyed by deer. December 30th, 1986. Dear Mr. McGlashan. Is this the last ending? Nope. Secret boss, I think. It has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spino, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spino's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and her old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I am happy to report that, since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since first coming here, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinal in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. John! Can I go back inside? Oh. Okay. He buys a gun for every bullet he has. A gun with one bullet. All right then, let's go. So down four times and then left. So one. That's water, actually. Two. You grabbed the gun again? Aren't you supposed to not grab the gun? Three. Four. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. What's that? I don't know. Can I bless it? Will this do a thing if I do the, the pentagram? Does this it? What is it? A corpse, I guess. Like a dead fox, I guess. Already dead. Well, I shot the dead fox again. I had to double tap it. Putting it out of its misery? Again, yes. John, you should have just gone the other way. Go backwards. Oh, John, you should have gone backwards. <laughs> Why'd you stop? Is that the last one? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Amy. I am sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there is anything I can do, to help you, just let me know. We are having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Gary. <laughs> All right, then. So that's the real bad ending. I guess so. All right, well, I mean, that's all the endings, I think, right? So... Yeah, there was only five, so. We're gonna quit. That was the first one? That was the first one, yeah. I think that figured out pretty quick. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. I mean, I think it's because it's only like a really short one. I think number two is uh, the more longer one. Ah. Yeah. Uh, Alright, well, that was Faith. Oh, man. Are you going to do the Mario now, or are you going to 
load up the second one. Uh, I have to go buy the second one first. <laughs> but I'll do that later. Um, alright, so. Uh, yeah, that was Faith. Uh, spooky. <laughs> a, a little bit unsettling, to say the least. 